Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 18. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully, you guys do enjoy today's video. It's quite laggy, this game sometimes. But then again, it is a game from 2006 running on hardware from... Originated in 2000, but this is like updated 2004 hardware. I think the Slim had a little bit better graphics, just because of the fact that it was smoother, more modern. We got an event here. I want to... Um, Turn left. Drive to to unlock. Oh no, the event was up there. Oh. The map showed it off to the other side. That is weird. Um, but that way, that's a fast travel point for us. Come on. Cars get flown everywhere whenever you crash into them. Alright, there you go. Serves you right, cop car. Get out of my way. Can I do like a... There we go. Right, so we're starting off with the speed traps then. D-class restrictions, so we are going to be swapping to... What do we want to swap to? I think the skyline is the only option. Here we go. 90 miles an hour we must hit to get a good score. Awesome. There's only one speed trap. That is interesting. Really interesting. Means we've got to be very accurate with uh, how we drive today. Come on, get to 90. Way past it. 101.1 miles an hour. Over 11 miles an hour faster. Let's go straight to the next event. Really good. And the next one is 100 miles an hour. Um, I wonder if this is also just one speed trap or if there's more. Uh, one speed trap again. So this entire thing, I think, is just one speed trap that we got to hit. It's a really interesting way of doing it. Obviously, the further you have to go, like... The longer it would end up taking you if you failed. You have to... You really want to try and get this, like, nailed. There we go. That was that done. 114. So we were 14 miles an hour faster that time. Nice. This is only going to get quicker. 90 miles an hour again for this one. I think it's like the same road that we're going down, just each time, because there is no way that that loading time is loading that quick, just like that. We go start. 90 miles an hour around this corner, come on. Eighty, ninety, ninety. yes. 97.82, that's a very good, very good speed. Uh, next up is 105 miles an hour for another 7,000 credits. 7,500. Come on, lab. We've got quite a way to go, actually, for this one. Thirty-five seconds on the timer, so I'm guessing that means it's about thirty-five seconds away because obviously there's no the timer. Is, oh, never mind. Ignore me. I'm just chatting shit now. Oh, that was close. That was close. If we had to slow down any more, we could have had a risk of not making that. But I had to slow down as well. 
Uh, but next up, 110 miles an hour. I don't know whether this is going to be the last one or there's like 20 of them in this series. Who knows? Kahalu. Let's go. Awesome. Oh, nice. Yeah, we got more. Number six has been unlocked. That was six miles an hour faster. It was good. 7,000 credits. I wonder how many events there actually are in this series. 118 miles an hour now. Just like back-to-back -back speed traps, this is. The cool thing about this game, though, is this game wasn't... It's more like big proper game than um, something you could just pick up. Um, so on the PSP, it was a little bit interesting. But there were perfect moments in this game. Whereas, like, Gran Turismo, you could sort of like... Ah, uh, you're on a... 15, 20 minute bus journey, you just sit, play a couple of races, that's fine. Do some drifting, whatever. Um, and it was good. You can play Gran Turismo on the go. This was more sort of like you're going on the plane for work. Your journeys that would take you like two or three hours. This was perfect for that. Because you could sit down for a while and just play and play. Six miles an hour faster than the target time. Let's go to number seven now. 107 miles an hour for this one. Let's go. The fact is, that is how um, these games were like. Certain games were um, sort of perfect for certain things. Um, in Gran Turismo, you could as well, if you wanted, like, on your long journeys to do a long endurance race, you could. You could tell it exactly what you wanted. That's why Gran Turismo was perfect. Uh, PSP. Oh, this is close. That was close. I saw that camera coming and we were at like 100 miles an hour still. But that was decent. We're on to the next one. Number 8. 112 miles an hour. Let's do this. The fact is, the PSP was so far ahead of its time. It was ridiculously far ahead of its time. Like, unbelievably far ahead of its time. And... There we go. I, d I don't know what happened then. Um, I think I touched my HDMI square. It's a little bit dodgy. But yes. there is, It was so far ahead of its time, PSP. Unbelievable. And the Vita was decent, but there was no PSP games on it. They didn't make PSP cards. Oh! Lion Eye Wind Challenge has been unlocked. So is this like all eight of them put together? That would be decent if it is. That would be really cool, actually. Uh, so we need to get 100 miles an hour average for 18,000. I have a feeling it's all of them put together. But yeah. The Vita was such a letdown because they had such potential with that that they could make an amazing console that could play all the PSP games and play full-on PS3 games it could. Obviously with some downgrading, but there were some PS3 games on there. And you could easily, the Vita, make so much more money they could have if they sold PS2 games. Gran Turismo 4. Right, that it had dual analog sticks. It had everything. The only thing it didn't have was the extra bumpers. It only had one set of bumpers. But you can work around that. And they didn't. Then it was just a letdown that console completely. There we go. That's decent. You're gonna see a lot of flashing. I think that's why, like, even for me, witnessing that flashing, it's a bit extreme. 
Like, it is bright flashes. How have we only driven 50 miles in the skyline so far? Someone explain that to me. Awesome. It really does feel like you're proper speeding though, because like that flash on a speed camera is blinding. Especially at night. Come on, come on. Quite a long way to the uh, next speed cameras. The fact is we are well above 100 miles an hour for most of these, so not too much of a problem there for getting gold. Right, so we need to take a left turn here. Oh, got a bit of off-road penalty, unfortunately. So we'll lose about two miles an hour, but hopefully we're still way ahead of the time and the uh, speed. Gold? Yes. Awesome. After the uh, two mile an hour penalty, we were still well ahead of it. And there's another challenge as well. Time challenge. wonder what this is about. 4.1 miles, 2 minutes 52. One lap. Okay. Let's do this. There were more challenges in this thing than I was expecting. I'm guessing this would be the final one though, because this is now 10 events. Nice. This is going really well. I like this. And this road is very nice too. The corners flow. That is the key to any sort of like event or race. Is if it flows and it feels satisfying. When a track flows, satisfaction level goes through the roof. As soon as it doesn't flow, you've lost us. Nice. Oh, watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, uh, nope. That was the weirdest noise I've ever made. I am so not sorry for it either. Non-stop test drive for five days in a row, though. It's crazy. Nice. Uh, I have also had a look. We're only at expert level, right? So we've only got um, the four stars. And there is a race series where the first race is 34 miles long. That is, what, nearly twice as long as the first race of the touring car. And about the same length as the middle race. Uh, the second race, sorry. The 11 mile race. It's quite a big game, this. Quite a big game. There we go. Across the line, 243. We won a Lotus Esprit V8. That is awesome.
And we got loads of money for that as well because we did so many Your little events. Is being recalculated. It was ridiculous the amount we got for that. I think there's another event here as well. Turn left. What is this one called? Turn right. Lion A Sprint 2. Have we done this? I don't think so. It's an E vehicle restriction though. But no, we haven't done it. So let's swap to the Alpha. We'll take part in this. And then there is a race behind us as well. Uh, from this location that we can go and take a look at. I mean, based on the fact that we're pointing in this direction, I have a feeling we need to start in this direction. That's normally how this game works. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, and then we're going this way. Perfect. That was a good corner there. Ah, oh, those flashes. Jesus. I'm sorry for anyone that has to witness those flashes. Say cheese! <laughs> that was perfectly timed. I was waiting for that. Oh no, we got some off-road penalty. Oh, come on. Cheese! <laughs> come on, we got to get this one really good. Nailed it. There we go. Gold medal. Nice. 108.22 miles an hour. That was way over the time. And I think if we do this next race, is being recalculated. Uh, which is just around the corner. At the Let's next go. Intersection, turn left. Uh, this race turn is... Left. What's this? Dealership. European cars. Oh, interesting. I think we're going to have to pop in there at some point. Um, I think near here as well is the Italian dealership for the Zonda, so I feel like we're going to be taking that for A class. Here we go. Leonie Loop 2. Cool. What is our restriction for this? No restrictions, which means uh, we're going to get a C class because it's sort of mid range. I feel like we should get the DB9 out. I know we've driven it a lot in this series, but we're only going to drive it for one race. So let's do it. Perfect. Here we go. Time for the Aston Martin to shine. And off we go. The Aston Martin is going against a Ford GT, which is an A-class vehicle. Not really fair in my eyes, but oh well. No, come on. We have driven this car nearly 300 miles. Gonna keep an eye on that uh, distance meter, odometer, so that we can celebrate once we hit <laughs> 300. Every car guy does that. You always celebrate when you hit your first 100 miles. You celebrate when you hit 500. You celebrate when you hit 1,000. And then once you get to 100,000, you're like, oh, I need a new car. <laughs> Always. Once you've driven your car for 100,000 miles, you're like, yeah, this is enough now. Nice. And let's go around this corner. We've been in this area for quite a while now, actually. You find that a lot with this game. You get, like, large areas. I have a feeling by doing that many events as well, we've sort of completed a lot of the completion of this game. It's 
there was so many events in there. Ten events in the entire championship. Crazy. Awesome. That was a nice drift. GG's all round. And today we've gotten nearly 200,000 master points as well. We're at 712,000.6. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Ah, uh, good drift. Bit wide, but still good. We got a uh, Shelby concept behind us. Shelby Cobra concept. Nice. Again, these races are just getting longer and longer. And I'm looking forward to the longest of the longest. Just because it means that I can prove to myself that I can drive for a long time. I can, though. What was that? I did that in... What? Uh, I think it was like eight months ago. I did the Ibiza, round Ibiza, and that took 45, 50 minutes to do. So that was pretty cool. It is a wasted opportunity if that race isn't in this game, but I'm pretty sure it is from what I remember. Here we go, come on. Nice. Shelby Cobra is right behind us. The Cobra concept. Here's the final corner. And there's the finish line. Awesome. The Cobra concept. 1.3 seconds behind us. 1.25. Somewhere around there. We're nearly at 1 million credits. That is insane. Alright. Let's have a look at the map and see if there are any championships nearby. So we've obviously got like a massive amount of events here now. All the individual wind challenges. Um, is there another championship near here? At all? we got loads of championships towards the north. Um... I think the one that I was on about with the 30... Yeah, 31 miles just here. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, I don't know where to go now. We've got an event here. Let's... It's another... Um... Speed trap. Okay, cool. We can fast travel nearby as well, which is interesting. Your itinerary is being we can't actually go directly to the event just yet. This is C-Class as well, so we're going to take Aston once more. And plus, we need to get that up to 300 miles. And then we can say the Aston has done 300. Here we go. 110 miles an hour average speed for this. Let's go. There's going to be a lot of these, like, going back to older events, just to complete them. Because, again, 100% walk through needs to be done. The aim for this, like, 100% walk through is every single race event completed, not uh, golded, just completed, and every single club done. Those have to be golded, so there's no question about that way above the speed for that first camera. I feel like there's a good racetrack here. Like a good route. Is there a route or a race on this route? There must be. There is no way there isn't one. 
Come on. We got a tiny bit of penalty. But it was 0 0.08 seconds, so nowhere near enough to destroy our race. 126 miles an hour. 16,000 credits. And there we are. 1 million credits. We can actually uh, afford that concept car. Because it was worth a million. But we can't do it because we haven't done the uh, supercar championship yet. Right, so we are doing a 24 mile road trip. Um, I'm obviously going to chop this bit up. But um, we're going to be going up towards the north as far as possible. I'm already in the middle of the map right now. And we're not even going right to the very north. But we are going 23 miles upwards to make our way up to a realtor or a real estate agent and buy ourselves a nice new house with our million credits that we have. So let's go. I mean, this car is really quick when it's going in a straight line, but as soon as it hits a corner, it's just like, uh, does not want to go around. And so far, we've been lucky. We've just like, ah, no, never mind. It loves to crash, apparently. Yeah, another thing that is actually quite surprising about this is I've been going, well, wow, since I started recording, it was going like 200 miles for like a good 10, 10 miles non-stop, or oh, eight miles non-stop. And not once did I have a, like an issue with the speed that things were loading in, which is pretty impressive for the PS2. Pretty impressive. I will say that now. Well, we got busted. Great. 4,500. Oh, we're under a million now. No, we're not rich. We can't buy the house now. Right, so we are 1.8 miles out away from the real estate agents. And it's taken us, I don't know, approximately 10, 15 minutes to get across here. And for 90% of it, except for the times that I started recording and ended up crashing, which was like the most unlucky thing ever, we've been cruising at well over 190 miles an hour, past a uh, V-Rent place as well. Um, but let's... Oh! That's great. Here we go. We are at the real tours. Or the estate agents and the police are trying to tell us to pull over. We just did. You happy? Here we go. Right, so let's have a look how much these houses cost. So we need at least eight capacity. 316,000, okay. Or we can get a 10 car garage. And we have enough for a 10 car garage. What do we do? Do we go for six? Hmm. I feel like eight's a more sensible option though, because then we get more garage space. But then we've already got a house that looks like that. So I feel like getting something different with a 10 car garage would be better. So if we get that, can we exchange a house as well? How much would each of these cost to exchange? The four car garage, we can get rid of for 90,000. That will give us a little bit more money. Yeah, I think we'll get rid of the four car. And we will get ourselves the 10 car for 890,000. That gives us 100,000 still left. Buy this house. Yes, please. I got a 10 car garage. Oh, wow. Is that actually the house we just bought? That looks sick. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Right, let's jump in. Let's have a look. See what the house looks like. That looks insane, that roof, though. Let's see. Okay, the interior looks very, very fancy. Look at that. That is nice. Right, let's have a look to the news. Uh, vehicle upgrade free. Yep, yep. We've got the Shelby Cobra concept, club midship, 
Miura and a Lotus Esprit. Okay, let's have a look um, in the statistics quickly. Uh, so we are 35% complete now. So that is very good. We've done more today than we have in any other day. Uh, we've got 86 gold cups, 3 silvers, 2 bronzes. We can upgrade those back up to there at some point. Uh, total time played, 8 hours 49 minutes. Jeez, that's a lot. 3 houses owned, 5 times we've been arrested, and we own 18 cars as well. Let's have a look in the garage. Let's see this. I also want to see the Mura as well. Because we've got the Mura in this garage now. Let's have a look. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Oh no, we got all the uh, houses, uh, cars from the crappy garage as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where did the other others go then? Okay. But uh, this is the Mura. This is a very nice car. Can I open up the doors? Oh my gosh, it even brings out that little extra bit. Oh, no, that's in the wall. That's not ideal. We got the windows. They can go down. That looks amazing. So amazing, in fact. We're going to give it a little bit of a run for two minutes. We'll drive it out of the house. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh, this is impressive. We've got some fancy housing. Your destination is one mile away. Oh, listen to that. That is amazing. We're going to have to take this for some B-class events. This is nice. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.